What is going on everyone? Welcome to Rec Talk. Hope you're having a great Thanksgiving day. This is video number two on Thanksgiving day and uh, not a video uh, I'm happy about making, but we have to talk about it. So uh, I saw this first from uh, at South Recruiting. Uh, the name appears as DT Fan. Uh, and I, I forget who he was uh, basically quote tweeting, but it said that Jay Bat uh, has or will interview for the South Carolina uh, AD job and uh, basically is a serious uh, target for them for their athletic director job. Now, I think it came out sometime earlier in the year, like September, that South Carolina's current athletic administrator is stepping down after 13 years. But, um, man, this is a gut punch. I, and, you know, I hope it doesn't happen. But here's what I'll say if you're a South Carolina fan. It uh, kind of makes me think of Carolina Jackpot. Uh, Jay Bat would be a fantastic hire. Um, he's been the guy, if you've listened to Rec Talk for any length of time, if you've listened to the live shows, I said the number one guy I'm worried about getting poached is Jay Bat. Um, you know, he, I guess this would be him completing his second year at Georgia Tech. Um, if you are a South Carolina fan, look, the dude came in and did nothing but inject money that had never been seen at this school before. Uh, has already raised $300 million out of a $500 million initiative, renovating a stadium that's the oldest on-campus stadium in the country. It looks like it and it feels like it. Um, I just didn't think, I, I mean, I thought Jay Bat would get poached uh, from like an Alabama or something one day. Like, I really do think he's that good. And this is where, to me, we'll see just how serious Cabrera and administration are about maintaining um, the success they've started in their uh, sports programs, ma mainly football, because I don't pretend to be an expert on knowing how these things work, but I do think usually when you're gonna interview somebody, like you would, you reach out, like if you're gonna interview Buster Faulkner for an OC job from Georgia Tech, you would contact the AD or head coach first. So I don't know if that's how, if Cabrera, I mean, certainly Cabrera knows about it. If I'm Cabrera, uh, I'd say, you know what, Jay? Uh, doesn't surprise me. People are wanting to hire you. Uh, you know, we hired you for a reason. Let me just ask you this. What is it, what would I have to do right now for you to not even take that interview. What would I, in, in other words, what would I have to do uh, to make it to where you don't even wanna take these calls? I said earlier, uh, I wanna say a week or two ago, uh, I, I think it would be totally worth it for Georgia Tech to make Jay Bat the highest paid AD in the country. Currently, the highest paid AD in the country is Tennessee's athletic director who makes like 2.2, 2.3 million, something like that. It might be a little bit more. It's between two and three. Um, I think Jay Bat's worth that. I 100% think Jay Bat's worth that. Um, so yeah, and look, it could be um, that it's not a money thing. It's a resource thing. It's uh you know, there, there's other things aside from money that would make Jay Bat want to make this move. Now, people correctly said, because I said I thought North Carolina um, probably should part ways with Bubba Cunningham. Uh, and, and I still do think that. And they said, well, careful what you wish for. You know, Jay Bat played soccer at North Carolina. He's a North Carolina alum. And I'm sure he would love to go back there. That would make more sense to me. Um, I don't get the interest for, of, of Jay Bat to South Carolina, but let me tell you something, South Carolina. Uh, if you do hire this guy, 
Uh, yeah, I mean, you've probably not heard of him, but uh, this is the guy you want. I don't know who the other guy is. Uh, evidently, it's a sitting AD uh, or however many people you're interviewing, but J-Bat's the guy you want. So, uh, again, a, a big gut punch to me on Thanksgiving. Um, you know, if we lose J-Bat, you know, that's going to be tough. Uh, that's going to be really tough. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you're a South Carolina fan, I would love to hear from you in the comments. And again, happy Thanksgiving.